70% of vaccines used worldwide are made in India. Dr. Jerome, a clinical scientist and the world's leading voice on vaccines, who lead the U.S. military's program on the HIV vaccine, had a lot to say about India's role in the fight against COVID-19. Dr. Jerome said that with 7 billion people in the world who should potentially be vaccinated, someone has to make the vaccine, make a lot of doses and make it quickly. India has a big role to play, not only because of its population, but we know that India has a very, very important vaccine manufacturing industry, he said. About 70% of the vaccines used around the world for extended immunization programs are made in India. Almost every child in the world has received a vaccine made in India and that's really important, he said. It means Indian companies put out a billion vaccines a year and that's the kind of capacity we are going to need in order to get this vaccine to the people who need it all over the world, not just to people in the United States and Europe, but Asia, India and Africa. The, probably the most important thing, and I think India will, will, will be very important in this, in this because India provides a lot of the vaccines for global health. Someone has to make it, and someone has to make a lot of it. I mean, we're talking about 7 billion people in this world, all of, poten all of them potentially should be vaccinated. India has a big role to play. I mean, not only because of its population, but we know that India has um, a very, very important uh, vaccine manufacturing industry. About 70% of the vaccines used around the world um, for extended immunization programs are made in India. I mean, almost every child in the world has received a vaccine made in India, and that's really important. It means that Indian companies put out a billion vaccines a year, and that's the kind of capacity that we're going to need in order to get this vaccine to the people who need it all over the world, not just people in the United States, not just people in Europe but for people in India, in Africa, in Asia. And so we're gonna need uh, companies that have the capacity and know how to make vaccines. So that's on the manufacturing side. I think one of the things that we may overlook or may be overlooking is, you know, we know that India has great universities and a lot of very talented and intelligent people, a thriving biotech industry, and all of those uh, people, all of those resources could be brought to bear on this, you know, probably the greatest pandemic threat in the last 100 years. And I think India has a lot to contribute.